Hey guys, hi, I just thought I'd show you guys where I'm gonna vote at. Today, um, the voting started, you know, it is the elections. So you better get out there and vote, you guys. If you want change, you have to be the change, so you gotta vote. I'm here at my polling place, as you can see, it's at a little, I think this is an elementary school, but we're gonna go vote. And then I'm gonna come back on and tell you why it's important to vote. If you are of age to vote, please do so. Be right back. What's up everyone? I voted today. Okay, so today I'm gonna do like a little vlog-ish like recipe. Okay, we're gonna talk about, no, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some salmon. And we're gonna do a little chit chat. What do you think? I think that's cool. So I'm gonna make salmon and shrimp. So, I went to Ralph's and got a salmon it was on sale for, I don't know if you guys like salmon, but if you do, I'm a fan of salmon, salmon. It's just what I love. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to prep it and then, um, and then I'll, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep it and then um, I'll show you a finished picture because it does take like, excuse me, like, um, probably about 20, 20 to 30 minutes to do for me. So I put my stuff in here because I clean everything. You know, they season this salmon, but I'm not. At first I was feeling it, but then I'm like, whoa, what if you didn't, what if, what if you didn't clean it? I got a problem with that. So anyways, I'm just gonna wash it again and don't judge me, I don't care. So I'm just gonna wash it for real for real. And it also has actually the freaking skin on there. And I guess the guy, the kid that was there, he's not allowed to cut or something. So he couldn't cut the damn skin off. I like fresh food, fresh uh, seafood. So I just rinsed this off. And then I'm gonna end up cutting it myself and showing you guys how I season it and stuff. And then same thing with the shrimp. I made shrimp. I'm gonna make shrimp as well, but I'm gonna rinse that. I always, I clean everything, everything, okay? So you just wash these really good. And then we're gonna peel the shrimp because it is fresh. So I always peel like with the water going. Dang, I wanna show you by the camera. So look, I just clean them like literally all around. And I take the shell off and I toss it. Super easy. I wash and clean everything that I eat before I eat it. Pretty much everything, obviously. Use your own judgment. But this is bomb and it is so easy to make. I'm gonna show you guys so much. So anyways, guys, let's talk about voting. It was so easy for me to go over there and vote. Oh my God, I'll be real with you. I'm surprised they didn't take no temperatures because I really thought they was gonna take my temperature. I was like, oh Lord, here we go. About to gangle them outside. But no, they're actually nice old ladies. Um, they're very friendly. So those of you that are like scared to go and vote, don't be scared at all. You should definitely go and vote and use your voice. We're gonna talk about several, several reasons on why we should go and vote. Number one is definitely being able to use your voice. So, um, you always wanna be able to do that. And you want to be able to make decisions just like everyone else. You know, if you're um, 18, although I did see that they were talking about making it um, available for 17 year olds to vote, which is cool as well, as long as, long as you're using, you know, your best informed decision, I think that you should be allowed to vote. Um, but I mean, that's just my opinion, but I think that you should vote as a way of, um, using your voice and knowing that you have the right to decide and speak like everyone else um and not giving up your voice because if you don't vote then you're giving up your voice and i know some people probably think that it's like super annoying or or let me work and oh i cannot work work and talk so a lot of people think that or cook and talk i'd rather um i a lot of people think i'll just leave it there for now a lot of people think that um 
you can, it's so hard to go in there and vote, or it's, it's, it, but it's not. So a lot of people think that um, it's going to be like stressful or something to go and vote. It really isn't. It isn't bad at all. You know what it's like, actually? It's like when you go, um, like when you were in school, you remember how you used to have those bubble tests that you would fill out with a pencil? It's like that. And then like how you would be like in a cubby and like no one can copy your paper. Remember, remember those days? It's just like that where you literally go, it, it was so fast. You go in there, um, you get like a little receipt thing. I don't even have my receipt, but it's like a little skinny receipt thing that they take off of the paper. I'm literally trying to get the skin off this. Don't mind me, my team in it. But dude is actually pretty cool um and then you get like a number or whatever off the paper and then they give you a ballot and they give you like a little paper thing so you can cover up your answers like a little sleeve or something and then you go to like a little polling area and um you cast your vote you write down your answers i literally think that it took me longer to go through my answers than it did for me to get into the building Literally, there's no lines. It's not all crazy. And I heard that Chicago actually has it better than us over here in Cali. They have um, like electronic, well, at least the polling spot that I went to. I don't know because mine was a school or what, but um, you, um, you still feel, you're still filling in some bubbles. But in Chicago, you get a freaking computer, which is so bomb. I like that idea. Um, so go and vote. And guess what else? It's not stressful at all is what I was saying, but you also get to get a sticker after, and you know, it really shows that you're doing something in the world, you know? And because if you go and vote, you can literally, instead of, I hear a lot of people complaining, it doesn't matter which political party you are on, which side you're on, um, just go and vote. And, and my advice would only be to obviously use your discernment. Who you choose is who you're gonna choose, bottom line. And you know what? Be, stand firm. Stand firm with who you choose. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And just make sure you're making a choice that, that, that resonates with who you are as a person. You know, try to make your best informed decision is my recommendation. Um, but please, we should all go out and vote. I think it is imperative that we all vote, literally. Um, you know, and I think, you know, a lot of us want change, but a lot of us, let's be real, will not go and vote. So how the hell are we going to have change if we don't, if we don't freaking vote or go and do things that are going to invoke change, you know, in order for change, we have to literally be the change. And I'm going to use this napkin to dry my hands because I'm not taking these gloves off yet. So you get a big old piece of foil. And you know you feel official when you come out of boating too. You know that, right? So you put your salmon right in the middle. And then you get another piece for your shrimp. So they are gonna be just bomb diggy. And I'm gonna put this. Here. I have crap everywhere too. I don't even know what's wrong with me sometimes. Um, don't mind the background, it's my workstation. Okay, so you put that shrimp there. And then you get rid of your stuff. I'm gonna put this sideways like that. All right, and then you get all your seasonings that you wanna use. I'm gonna use butter, we'll use dill. Oh, fucker didn't give me any dill, damn. Okay, so you use butter, you use dill. Um, I'll just show you every single thing that I use that is super bomb, and you can take your gloves off. I didn't want to take them off, just in case I wasn't ready. But, let's do this. So I got some balm butter. I'm gonna grab everything I use. I am real simple with mine. I don't overcomplicate my food. I just grab a lemon. That's okay. I grab a lemon and I grab butter, mainly. I usually use dill as well. Ow! I usually, ow, oh, dang. I usually use dill as well, but I didn't get any freaking dill this time for some reason. Just put my trash right here for now. All right, so we're gonna just cut a piece of lemon for, oh man. 
I'm not that damn lemon. Don't you hate when your fruit goes bad, dude? All your stuff went bad before you eat it. Ugh. I try to, I definitely try to watch it. So hard. So I'm gonna wash my lemon. This is so good. This lemon is bomb. So what you wanna do is, right there, cut your lemon in half. Oh, get your little sticker off. You don't wanna cook a sticker, do you? And then, this is a big old piece of salmon too. So, all right, I'll put one on my shrimp too. I like lemon, okay guys? Okay, so then, I already started the um, oven, so it's already warmed up on 350. Then you close it, and now I'll put it back in the fridge. I like to cook and clean and uh, organize as I go. So what you're gonna do is, um, oh, whoops, we're gonna cut the butter, butter, baby. So we'll cut, I'll cut about one teaspoon for um, each one. So one for the salmon, and one for the shrimp. Just drop that in there. We definitely have to vote because voting matters. The community depends on you. I think people probably take that to heart when somebody hears, oh my God, the, com the community depends on me. No, like you as a whole, it depends on all of us together to come together as a community, to come together as one. So, you know, we wanna get the right people in that's gonna help invoke positive change, anything that's positive. That's what you wanna to try to go towards or go for. You know, we know what negative looks like, right? Okay, so as a matter of fact, <laughs> I, when I went to the grocery store, the kids saw that I had voted. He's like, did you vote? And I'm like, right, he goes, did you vote right now? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, did you go to over here to vote? And I go, yeah, why? I go, did you vote or something? I guess that's what he wanted me to say. He's like, yeah, I did, because I'm 18. I'm like, okay, okay, mister. So, all right. So then I just continued to order my salmon. He's like, well, I voted for whoever he voted for. And I was like, okay. Well, and I go, okay, well, well why'd you choose that person? And he said that he voted, he didn't want to vote for anyone that was negative and argumentative. And then he didn't want to vote for anyone that wreaked, that wreaked havoc on others. So I'm like, Okay, that gave me something to think about, you know, like a lot of people vote off of emotions and <laughs> probably not a good idea, but you know, a lot of people act off of that. So I think, you know, making, and I'm not judgmental, I don't judge anybody, it is what it is, but I think that you should be able to just understand your, just understand who you are, I guess, you know, is a better way to put it. Understand who you are, understand what types of, values that you have in yourself and the types of changes or things that you want to see in the world and go with whoever aligns the closest to that that that's what that I think that would be a better way to do it than to go off emotions and emotions get you in trouble I definitely don't recommend that actually so I'm gonna do some Sylvia's secret why because this secret is just I don't know what the secret is but this stuff is fire y'all Okay, I don't know what the secret is. And I'm gonna use this seasoning, check it out. I get this little bag of seasoning from the grocery store because they, um, they look bougie because, and you just sprinkle some on there. It's like a, a lemon pepper seafood seasoning mix type of thing, it's so bomb. But they give it to you at the grocery store. Like they'll, they'll prep your food for you usually, but this guy was new, so. It didn't work out right, okay? So then I'm gonna do a little, ooh, shoot. A little bit of seasoning, a little salt. And then we'll do a little bit of pepper. This is gonna be so bomb, guys. A little bit of pepper. And then I will even do, normally I will do um, olive oil and a lot of things, but I've noticed that with the salmon and the butter, ooh lord, it is, it is fire. 
All right, so now what you want to do is you want to close this up, kind of like a, a wrapping like motion like that. Just close it. Do the same thing with your sand. You're not going to put anything on here. I usually put freaking, this is sad. I usually put um, dill on there. I love dill, y'all. It makes it taste so bomb. So you do one half over, and then you come over this way. And then you do the same thing on either side. So here and here. And you close it just like that, okay? You get your pan, and you put that baby up here. Don't make a hole. Have it just like this. So you wanna put it just like that in the oven. At 350. If I were you, with this particular meal, I would, well, the size of this fish, I would literally start at, uh, probably I would start at 25 minutes just to see, make sure it's done. Then we'll check it again in 25 minutes. Okay, I literally, I literally, I literally put a timer, oh, things choking me. I literally put a timer for everything. Like, my life is a timer, it feels like sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I put that in there for 25 minutes and then I will show you like I'll try to insert um, Different moments like when I go to check it and then right when it's done I'll, I'll show that in there in a picture because it is bomb and it is fire Okay, and then another way that you can also um, Make this is if you had any zucchini you can literally toss that on top. I don't have any zucchini Let me check no, I don't have any more zucchini. So, um, in addition, if you like zucchini, you can um, chop up some zucchini. Don't like peel it or anything. Just wash it real good and then chop it up into like little um, quarters or however you want to chop it really. Um, and just throw that on top of the salmon as well be before you start seasoning it and fold it the same exact way that I tie you. Throw it in there and it'll come out fire. It's so bomb. It's so good. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a nice meal and a quick little meal that you can eat, help raise your vibration. You know, we eat foods that raise our vibration. And then I also want to talk to you guys about boating, letting you know that um, the boating really does matter, guys. It affects our resources. It affects our, our children if you have kids, even if you don't. I mean, even if you are 18, you know, you're, it's your future that you're voting on. So, you know, be involved and in, you pay taxes, right? So don't you want to know where your money is going? Don't you want to have a say-so in it at least, you know? And, you know, so that's why I really recommend voting. I know Cali, Seattle, um, and my Chi-Town peeps, they are voting and they're open. And Chi-Town got, got the hookup with the iPad voting. <laughs> we need that. And then also, um, oh, and guess what else? You can literally register in person to vote literally you can register right there and go and vote right there so there's no excuse okay you guys have until november 3rd okay october 31st through november 3rd to make an informed decision and you're already on your computer anyways and you're already right here on the internet watching me go ahead and go and make a vote no matter what okay because your voice matters thank you for watching please leave some comments below i really appreciate every view that i get i appreciate all the comments and all the feedback and i'm very grateful have a great day and let me know what you think about the salmon and how yours comes out hit me up on ig at fresh scented mass or put a picture in the comments below i'd love to see how yours came out and tell me how it tasted deuces